zooming tools. There's just three or four main zooming tools that I like to discuss at the beginning. Two of them have to do with the scroll wheel on your mouse, and the others are keystrokes, ZZ and ZE, or ZZ and ZE, depending on your country. Let's take a look at these in action. So we're into our final product, and we're going to be exploring some of the zoom functions just for a few minutes. So let's start with the scroll wheel zoom and pan. Well, how's that done? Well, similar to other design software like AutoCAD and others, the scroll wheel on your mouse can act as a zoom function. So if I were to hover my mouse over the microwave and just roll the wheel forward, we would zoom in closer. If I were to roll it back, we would zoom out. And if I were to put my cursor over Autodesk Revit, and just roll towards that, and then roll back, that's acting as a zoom. What is pan? Well, pan is just changing where we're standing, essentially, changing how we're looking at the drawing. If I just hold down the scroll wheel, which is also a button, you'll see a pan tool come up, and then you can pan your view around and move that all around and get a different vantage point. Let's look at this in the context of a floor plan. In the project browser, I'm going to double click on level one and I'm going to use my scroll wheel to roll in or zoom in to my elevation marker. Then I could roll out using the wheel out to here. So, what are the other two that we're going to look at? Well, let's take a look at them on screen again. So, that's ZZ and ZE or double Z or ZE. So, let's flip back over to our drawing again. In the context of this floor plan, let's type in ZZ. Now I'm going to do a left click on my mouse right here and then hold. So I'm holding. I'm not, I didn't just click once and let go. I'm actually clicking and holding. When I let go, that's my window. Let's try that again. ZZ or ZZ. Now I'm going to click and hold and then let go. Now what about if I want to see everything again? Well, now I can go ZE or ZE. Type in that, and now you see everything. If you're coming from an AutoCAD background, that should be quite familiar. Just wanted to make it clear that after you type in ZE, you don't hit enter. You just type the letters, the two letters, and that's how all shortcuts work in Revit. It's simply just a matter of type it in, and then the command will be active.